Yo, what is up guys? It is me, LJP Studios, and I'm finally back from my little break from career mode I, I had, and I'm finally back with a Morecambe career mode. It's been a long time coming, and we start today's episode off with a bang, Davy Brooks with a brace, and hopefully in today's episode we will be getting to the finale and yes i'm bringing today's episode with some energy because i have been waiting for the this moment for so long now and um, we've got 10 games left and we should hopefully close the well not close any gap but um hopefully i don't know uh, what am i trying to say hopefully we can get promotion right now we're in the automatic promotion places hopefully we can keep it up and get that eventual promotion that we um are desiring so i'm gonna rotate this squad a bit um bring in white and mark and day and kevin ikia um so hopefully that team gets us another win and it does pa harris with a brace and calvin iha boshiman with the other goal and we get a big 3-0 win against the brewers um and with nine games to go hopefully we can win them all um but i'm not too sure is jj mckinnon wants to go out on loan and sheffield united which is a bit of a surprise to me. I want to take him on loan. So I'm going to delegate. And so yeah, you can have him for a, for a couple of years uh, if it wants to load. Um, um, but, but by the time he comes back, there's a high chance I'm just going to sell him, depending on how well he's grown. Does Coventry also taking interest in JJ McKinnon and I'm just going to say the same thing have him for as many years as you desire and yet again it's not loading and there we go next game is against Salford in the league as Calvini Hiboshiman wants to play again and uh, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna let him I'm gonna let him play who else should I Give a go for Kelvin Abrifa. Can have a game. That's kind of linger, I think. And yeah, Boshman up top as well. Um, hopefully we can beat Salford. And we do Carlton Morris. I thought I put Ihe Boshman on. Whoops. Cameron Rooney wants another chance. Darnell Furlong saying he's happy. I, I thought I did. I thought I gave him a game, but evidently not. So I need to check. Jay Green. Jay Green, Jay Green, Jay Green, Jay Green. <coughs> you don't see that. Um, Sheffield United have agreed a loan deal and can i say guys thank you so so much for the support um i i've been getting i'm up to 89 subscribers that's absolutely monumental um and so yeah, thank you so much for all that support and some of my recent videos they've been getting some good views i've got um a fortnite video which has um a hundred odd views that's really really good because a lot of my long long form videos don't actually get as many views as I'd like so thank you for that and also one of my the FIFA um, the FIFA what am I trying to say the um, the ultimate team draft I did that has got a surprisingly high amount of views 
like just under 400 views it's honestly crazy so i'm just gonna take this time to say thank you so much for your your guys support it's meant the absolute world and it is coming towards the end of the summer holidays so content may or may not slow down a bit but nonetheless we're gonna continue for the time I have left and move on to the Peterborough game uh, I believe that's JJ McKinnon joining Sheffield United for two years which I think is the right decision Uh, so how many games do we have left? We have six, no, eight games left. Hopefully, we can just uh, see it through. What the hell? Um, blurs a list of the players that we've received further information about over the coming weeks as we spend more time than us. We should get a better idea of their strengths and weaknesses. Updated reports on the. Oh, I'm being so stupid, that's just, oh. I might be the most stupidest person on this planet. I th pretty much, to put a long story short, I thought that that was um, them telling us a, um, a, what's it called, a, uh, saying that all of those youth players were unsettled, and I was... A little bit confused, I won't lie. Uh, yeah, about to take another game. Oh, we get absolutely battered. Randall with an absolute masterclass against us. Oh, and by the way, you, you don't have to believe me, but when I went on holiday for like w uh, over the course of one night, I stayed in like a this hotel in Exeter, right? And basically, um, the day before, well, no, the day after um, that I was in that hotel, Peterborough. Right, they played a game against Exeter. So I've met the whole, well not the whole, but I met some Peterborough players and one of them was in fact Joe Randall. I saw him at the bar getting a drink. Like, you you probably don't believe me, that's more than fine. But I've genuinely seen, with my own two eyes, the Joe Randall. Like, I, I genuinely don't think you understand. Like, he was at the... I was, like... I don't know how to describe it. I was at, like, quite a big table with, like, my family. And, um... I got there, uh, like, 10 o'clock and in the in the evening. And we were at sitting at the bar until, like, 10.30, 11, something like that. And, um... Yeah, so I... Uh, we were the last lot out of my family to get there, I believe. Um, so all of my family were there. Um, my dad got me himself and my mum a drink because he's just been he's just been driving for like three or four hours, so he deserved it to be fair. And um, yeah, we get there, and I I'm I, I'm having my water. I'm having my water. I look over. And the only thing I see, right, is, like, l literally Joe Randall, unfortunately I don't see who he's with, but he's with another Peterborough player, because I only see their back. I see the side of Joe Randall's face, right, and I see the other player, but I don't see his face, so I don't know who it was, but I've seen Joe Randall. It was, honestly, the craziest thing I've seen. And I knew so much about it because I've all I've been doing, as you may or may not know, I've been doing um, a live stream career mode with Peterborough, so I know so much about them all already, which is oh, it was unbelievable. And then I, I can't remember who it was, but I also s saw a national league club. Um, 
Wait, let me let me try and find which which club they were whilst I'm doing this episode. But um It was oh, I actually cannot I couldn't believe it. Because it, it seems like a like I I've made it up, but I've genuinely haven't made it up. There's um an important game this. We need to we really do need to catch up in switch in the league. Um but yeah, I'm just having a little look. It was Woking, yeah, yeah, it was Woking. Yeah, I we I met the Woking team as well. No, but not Woking, it was Dorking, it was Dorking. No, it was, no, it was definitely Dorking, sorry. Yeah, I met the Dorking team as well. Oh my god, what a win that is. Big 3-1 win over the league leaders. Massive, massive result in our favour, but... I don't think it will be enough, as we've got uh, three games to go, one of which is a difficult opponent in Plymouth. Um, yeah. There is the Plymouth side. Still got their main man out right wide in Whitaker, um, Morgan Whitaker, who's miles above the average League One player, and Magnin, I believe, the former Clermont Foot player. Um, they've got a few un unhappy lads, so I'm just going to give them a game and one of the last games it's a loss <sighs> but yeah I've met the Plymouth no not Plymouth what one of the Plymouth team and I've also met the uh, Dork team which I honestly can not believe so um, yeah That was it was um I've genuinely never seen anything like it. Because I've only met let me think about this. I've only ever met one other celebrity in person. So for me it was it was crazy because yeah my last holiday it was funny enough it was the holiday before the one I went on because um, I was going to uh, a hol holiday and um, it was like I finished school and then I was going I was getting changed packing my bag and we were just going straight to the place so pretty pretty much what I do right I I get in, get changed, get stuff, we go, and because it's getting to like 6, 7 o'clock, and we're not going to want to eat just after, um, uh, because we want to eat before we get, we get to the place, um, we stop at the services nearby, which, if you don't know, that's just like, a few, like, a few restaurants and a toilet so yeah that's pretty much what the services are right so we go to the services and um, I see I've just got my what did I get? it was either McDonald's or KFC I think it was McDonald's and I see none other than uh, Ben Foster walking out he's got like like a 
with salad in his hand and like he's just walking out and I like I that was the first ever time I've met like a, a celebrity in public. Like it was honestly unbelievable. But yeah, so that's Ben Foster and jo Joel Randall. I've met in person as on that last game against Portsmouth that got us promoted. I didn't even realise how significant of a win that was. But we do get promoted. Oh my gosh. I was too busy talking about Joel Randall and Ben Foster. But uh, I'll do with this and then I'll go through the end of the all of the competitions as I'm going to promote a few youth players. Ryan Chadwick. Um gonna promote him. I think if they're 60 rated or above they're gonna get promoted. But Sebastian Collins, what a player. I bet, my prediction is, Joel Reeves. I've genuinely not seen, oh yeah it was just three. I thought Joel Reeves would want to get promoted. Is Ipswich still yet to play their final game? Oh wait, it wait what? Did I have two Greaves? I am so lost. Yeah, if you want to see more content, like the thing I did with Fortnite where I post me winning, let me know, because I actually enjoy playing Fortnite. I actually really enjoy it. Oh, Furlong has a expiring contract. As I remember, when I tried to negotiate before, I gave him like a six grand release clause, which I genuinely did not mean to do. As I believe when this one expires, there's a high chance he'll be retiring. So, yeah. Because I'm just gonna keep him on his current wage. And there we are, Darnell Furlong. It's going to be the club a little longer and we've got actually quite a few people with contract expiring next year from Brandon Austin, Ola Aina, I'm going to quickly skip past Lloyd Leonard just because I don't want to reveal his rating just yet. I don't, I think Ola Aina, there's a chance of him retiring, Bijou, uh, Davy Brooks, uh, Carlton Morris who will probably yet again be retiring. Cameron Rooney, who I'm fine to let him leave. Alinga, who's probably going to be retiring. So, there is your best player, Bernier, who's still an exciting prospect. David Brooks, and Ewan Hodgson, Ola Reina, Carl Morris, all of them lot. But Harrison Elliott has grown a substantial amount. Harak has not, so he will probably be sold. Loic Leonard goes up a rating which isn't good enough in my opinion and Zathan Pua yet again not good enough Theo Ford really has shone at Portland Timbers on loan as has Dexter Atkins growing a few ratings in UTA Arad Tommy Burgess not growing at all which isn't a good sign neither has George Pedley I think I'm just going to sell and Ed Booth going up a few ratings um, and this is the rest of the squad been some nice growth throughout the team but um, yeah Have Ipswich played their last game? They have. Right. I'll show you these standings. Um, nothing really too surprising. I don't think Reading really quite high up, even though I still have quite a few of their players and I'm still looking to get boys card. Stevenage are the first teams to get relegated with Exeter, Bradford and Forest Green only getting four wins throughout the whole season and as you can see there they actually did one of their few points that was against Lincoln. FA Cup, Man United, the eventual winners 
and Liverpool winning the Carabao Cup. The BSM Trophy won by Plymouth. I actually cannot remember how well we did. Youth Academy having a little bit of a run. Um, where are we? We lost to Colchester and then Colchester losing to Youth Academy. Youth Academy losing to Ipswich. Ipswich losing to Plymouth. And Plymouth won, won the whole thing. And that is the playoffs. UF Super Cup won by Borussia. Champions League, the Aventus Barcelona. Um, you can pause it if you want. Malmo getting out of the group, as do Panathinaikos. Real Madrid don't get out of the group. Neither do Man United. Um, nothing. Oh, Dortmund and Ajax getting beaten to the playoffs by Panathinaikos. And Malmo gets through the group, being Fenerbahce and Athletic Club. RB Salzburg get promoted and RB Leipzig finish rock bottom as do Villa Real. As of the Europa League, Chelsea beating Marseille. Um, a rare win for Chelsea. Um, Sevilla beat Real Madrid, wow. Um, but yeah, that's uh, interesting results. Galatasaray failed to get through their group. Um, yeah, apart from that, I don't think there's anything too surprising. Crystal Palace making it to the Europa League. Um, but, uh, yeah, Copenhagen finishing bottom of their group. Tottenham and Union Berlin in the final. I'm, go I'm sorry, but I am going to have to see how that plays out. I, I am sorry, but I am. Uni Berlin undefeated in their group. Um, Jagia Leonia. And Union St. Galois, by the way, finishing rock bottom of their group. Um, that was uh, shocking. Besiktas failed to get the top. Atletico Madrid undefeated. Spurs topping their group. Um, Anderlecht undefeated in their group. And Young Boys top with Stade failing to qualify as when is the 2nd of July yep that's fine right we're gonna have to simulate pass this right let's stop it I want to see if Tottenham have won as we've got a youth scout report to look at in the meantime I don't think anyone's gonna make it in the last report of the year Come on, Tottenham. Don't be the bottle jobs that everyone calls you. And I may be able to look at the playoffs. But before I look in the Conference League, the playoffs final between Plymouth and Barnsley. Plymouth surpassing Peterborough and Barnsley beating Portsmouth. Oh, yeah! We're not the bottle jobs that everyone calls us. Yes. As for the other top five leagues, I'm also going to show these leagues. Shrewsbury doing really well. Um, getting first. Um, so they're going to be in League One. I've still yet to see Youth Academy, which is slightly worrying as they're, they're 21 points. Um, bottom is Harrogate with 46 points. In the championship, we won't be playing Stoke or Sunderland, and then one of Norwich, Blackburn, Middlesbrough, or Sheffield United, who all are in the playoff places. Uh, Luton just miss out on the playoff places, as do Bristol, I believe. Um, yeah, Bristol, Preston aren't too far out. Southampton are really low down in for their standards in 15th and then Derby, Blackpool and Sheffield Wednesday well, three teams to go down so we won't be playing any of them Man City win the league just about beating Arsenal to it, uh, Chelsea and Liverpool Man United, Newcastle finish the top 6, Crystal Palace, Nottingham Forest Leeds in the top 10 um, and Spurs in 10th despite their Conference League win Aston Villa and West Ham quite low down for their standards at Leicester City and Wolves are just about um, 
not getting relegated to the championship but we will be playing Fulham, Burnley and Bournemouth next season with Bournemouth only on 18 points um, really low I believe PSG yet again almost undefeated but it's just that one game where they lose which is a reoccurring theme in this series um, Saint Etienne finished bottom I did not want to look at that um, Bayern Munich winning the league Leverkusen in second um, Dortmund in fifth quite low now for them but Wolfsburg quite high up um, Heidenheim just about stay up and then Schalke Darmstadt automatically go down and Bochum in that playoff match um, in the city at Milan like PSG only losing once Juve into Lazio Roma and uh, Atalanta finish off that top six Florentina and Bologna top eight San Antonio and Napoli mid table um, with Cagliari just about surviving on goal difference and then Hellas Verona Cremoni so excuse me Empoli only on 15 points get relegated as for La Liga which will be the last well second to last thing of today's episode uh, Barcelona winning the league Real Madrid only five points behind the third game Madrid um, Real Sociedad and Sevilla and Osasuna quite high up finish off that top six Villarreal in ninth big improvement for them Valencia 11th Girona 14th Real Valladolid uh, escape relegation by 10 points and then Almeria Levante and Alves all go back down to the second league as for the top goal scorer, Bishop of Portsmouth is a top goal scorer by one. Chaplin quite close with 24. Sabley and Wayne of both of Plymouth are on 23 goals and Carlton Morris finishes it off with 20 goals but only in 36 games in comparison to the others who did that in 40 games who actually had better goals per game than any of those other players which is actually really good. Um, as for our team stats um, as we go into squad hub uh, Brandon Austin playing all 53 of our games Furlong quite close to match it playing 51 uh, Carlton Morris is our top goal scorer as you can see getting 20 out of his 21 goals in the league and getting one goal in the FA Cup. Part Harris also up there, he's had a really good season, really good midfielder for us. Ewan Hodgson, who's been a really smart signing, um, gets 11 goals. Ian Boschman, uh, super sub, getting 8 goals. Brooks with 6, Mag Homer with 5, Markander with 5, Alinga with 3, Ain with 2, Furlong with 2, McKinn with 2, Harvey White with 2, Bija with 1, Dominguez with 1, and that was this episode, Bernier with 1, Diabato with 1, and then um, some players that failed to score, Joel Senior, Jake Taylor, um, Kelvin Abrifa failed to score any goals. Carl Harris with the most assists, Bernier with 10, Macomb with 9, uh, Hodgson with 7, Brooks 6, and Ola Aina with 5. And I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see in the future because I have been enjoying these, but you know, it's going to come, the content is going to, with me, uh, okay, let, let's just restart what I'm trying to say. The content of me voicing over is going to slow down substantially um, because I'm in my GCSEs so I can't really take as much time uh, to stop and make videos. So it's going to be a lot of just gameplay, maybe FIFA, Fortnite, all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, and I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode very soon. Goodbye.